this event which is meant to kickstart the process to drive uh, 2018 Edo State Festival for Arts and Culture slated for December this year. You will all recall that um, our first foray uh, was last year when the first Edo State Arts um, Festival for Arts was undertaken by this administration. It was a good start, but sitting back to reflect and review the event for last year, we it clearly saw that it the, the uh, an event of that nature holds a huge holds huge promise if we include people from the private sector who have that can do business attitude to um, projects and so when the commissioner sent a list to me this year I insisted that majority of the members of the committee must be non-government actors people from the private sector and preferably private sector that is present in Edo State. Um, as you all were aware, the main objective of a festival is to harness the rich cultural diversity of our people as a homogeneous entity uh, such that we can display to the world and to our folks who come home over Christmas, the Christmas holiday the richness of our culture and also provide them some leisure and entertainment. We want to also ensure that we utilize that very rich cultural heritage which we have as a force of unity and to promote our identity as Edo people. Your witnesses to the kind of um, barrage we have been receiving globally and nationally. I want to say you're a do, especially as an do uh, boy or a girl. The next thing they are looking at you is like, okay, okay, is this? You know, I mean, a do has become almost synonymous with trafficking and you know, and all you know, <coughs> all sorts of. Um, um, vices which we which is really not part of us so events like this helps us in restoring our pride we have huge plans for culture and tourism in Edo State so we believe that uh, we should start with baby steps such as organizing world-class um, events like um, uh, festivals uh, festivals of culture for ourselves initially and then hopefully for outsiders who want to come and enjoy our, um, our, our cultural experiences. From the inception of this administration, while we were itemizing our purpose as a government, you know, in our thematic pillars, we said, okay, as a government, what is it that we have, we are setting out to do differently? One key anchor, you know, in addition to the other five, the other five being <coughs> economic revolution, we want to you said we we're going to focus on the economy, including agriculture and industrialization. That we're going to look at um, how to ensure that we utilize our position, our logistic position in the country, to build uh, an infrastructure web that connects to the national infrastructure grid. We said we're going to emphasize our environment, particularly our forestry um, resources and assets. We said we were going to make sure that highlights the social economic um, aspects of our society, particularly health, education, and the vulnerable. But one thing that stands out is that as the sixth pillar, we said we're going to emphasize tourism and culture.
because for us those are major assets we have that I mean honestly there are very few communities or societies or states in Nigeria that can boast of the quality of the cultural heritage and assets which we have. So for us as a government, we set out to emphasize our rich cultural heritage and we just don't want to, we, only, we want to not only celebrate the cultural forms, the dances, the you know, festivals, but to begin to emphasize what, this, what these aspects of our life mean to us and, and, um, and how it has helped shape in, to shape the country we are in today. So there's quite a lot to it, but I guess that this is why we have put all of you together to help us dimension various aspects of our culture. But start this Christmas by seeing how we can pull significant amount of resources, both the human and financial resources into a festival that I believe will become world class. If any group of people have the experience, the resources to do it, clearly it's all of you put together in this room because if you just because if you aggregate the talents and the resources of the individuals and institutions which we've put together to begin to look, take another fresh look at how to organize our culture. Um, if anybody is going to do it, then I'm sure you are up there. On that note, I want to congratulate members of the 2018 Edo, Edo Fest Committee and to assure you that um, we expect, oh well, assure you that the government is very, very committed to the festival this year and that we really have very high expectations from you. I was glad we started last year because something said to me, it can be much better. And so in planning this year, good thing we are starting early. We have three, at least four clear months ahead of us. And when I saw the final list, I was just so pleased and I signed off on it instantly because I know the I, I, I know of the exploits of many of you, particularly in the area of arts, and also the support which some of your organizations have always rendered or given to um, the arts and cultural events. On that note, I want to thank all of you and to now formally inaugurate the 2018 Edo State Committee for Edo Fest 2018. Uh, it's my great pleasure to be here today. And uh, I want to say a very big thank you, sir, Your Excellency, for approving uh, the ministry and this committee to run this year's Edo Festival. Uh, like you said, the committee members are resourceful people from different aspects of life, both in the financial sector and private institutes. We will do our best to make it a memorable event. We will put in our best to make it a better one. I'm definitely going to be better than last year. I'm going to improve on that. So we have come from far and wide to be here today. And we're going to, to make sure that this year's event is a good one and a memorable one. I will make you proud.